Greetings, Seminoles. I'd like to welcome you to our brand new virtual school year. I'm Coach Brown, your sixth grade assistant principal. Let's meet our administration. Up front, you have Ms. Tomaz, our principal, our illustrious leader. To the far left is Dr. J, our seventh grade assistant principal. Next to her is Mrs. Wright, our eighth grade assistant principal. That gentleman in the rear, that would be me, Coach Brown. We have Mrs. Haspel and Ms. Angioni. It's a whole new world, students and parents. It's virtual and it is what it is. Welcome to our virtual expectations. You need to attend class as scheduled. Each class will be recorded daily in SIS. You need to complete all of your assignments in a timely manner. Be respectful and display appropriate activity and interaction during all classes. Treat the virtual classroom exactly like it's a live classroom. Be sure to ask questions whenever you have them. Our Google Classroom will be set up by your teachers, so be sure to check your district emails for invites to all of your virtual classes. Only enter the Google Classroom that you're assigned. Participate in all the Google Meets. Pay close attention to your due dates and do not share class codes or Google Meet information with others. Contact your teacher or myself if you are experiencing any problems. Here are a few norms that we have during our Google Meets. Please, as you enter the presentation, mute your microphones. Questions will be held at the end unless you use the chat box. If your video quality is low, turn off your camera. That could probably help. This is very important. Be sure that you update your information, parents. Because we're starting the school virtually, it is very important that your contact information is correct. The school correspondence will be via email, phone call, or maybe even to the postal service. So be sure that if you've changed your phone number over the past you know, six months to a year that you update that. If you move, be sure that your address is correct and so forth. If you have any questions about that, please contact us as soon as possible. One of our staff members here is our behavioral health professional is Coach Nixon, who also is our boys basketball coach. He's available for support at any particular time. Our sixth grade guidance counselor is new to us this year, Ms. Ruth Anna Bruce. You'll be able to email her for any needs that you may have. Grade point average. This is probably the most important part of this uh, slideshow presentation. GPAs are very important, especially in your sixth grade year. It's the foundation of your, your future, actually. Each A is worth four points, Bs are worth three points, Cs are two, Ds are one, and we don't even discuss anything else. On a roll, in order to make it, you need to have a 3.0 or higher with threes and fours in conduct. And I know that you all will all have threes and fours in conduct. How the GPA works. Let's say uh, if, if you've done averages in math, you just say you have six classes and you have uh, all A's, you add those four classes together, which will be 24, divide it by six, and you get your grade point average, which is a 4.0. If you have any concerns about that, feel free to email us and we'll go ahead and make sure you clarify on everything. If you want to get involved in sports or activities, Mr. Rumsey is our athletic director. Uh, please, please be sure that you look at our website for the paperwork. Uh, whenever we make the announcements or we get it all clear that we're allowed to have sports. We may have virtual clubs, so be on the lookout. Uh, that may launch. I'm not positive. Don't quote me on it, but we're looking to do something to keep you guys uh, engaged after school. Our daily schedule. Be sure you look over this. It's going to go one through six and the times are as follows. First period is 9.30 to 10.25. Second, 10.30 to 11.25. Uh, third period, 11 to 12.25. Then you break for lunch, 12.30 to 1.10. Come back for a period four, one fifteen to 2.10. Then it's 2.15 to 3.10 for period five, 3.15 to 4.10 period six and we dismiss at 4.15. Here's a day, a way to keep, get your virtual day started. Okay, just some tips. 
Try to make it as simple and as, as normal as possible. Get up and start your day as if you were going to school. Get out of bed, brush your teeth, get dressed, change your scenery on your in your Google Classroom, and hop on the internet and get ready to work. All emails to administrators, teachers, and school counselors are as follows. It'll be first name, dot, last name at palmbeachschools.org. And listed here are the emails to all the administrators. SIS Gateway and parent access is very important. Parents, if you do not have access to the gateway, feel free to email me or Ms. Bruce, and we'll get that information out to you as soon as possible. If you need the lunch distribution information, please visit palmbeachschools.org for the distribution sites. Please be sure that you get familiar with SIS and our school website. That is www.hlwatkinsmiddleschool.org. If you have any questions, you can contact me once again, richard.brown at palmbeachschools.org. Now I'd like for you to meet our sixth grade team. Language Arts Department, we have Ms. Anders, Ms. Africa, Ms. Morgan, Ms. Thomas, and Mr. Jules. Our math department is Ms. Bozeman, Ms. T. Hall, and Ms. Rivas. Social studies will be Mrs. Siegfried, Mr. Placido, and Mr. Rance. Our science department will be Dr. T. Ms. Royal and Mr. Pena. Our elective consists of Mrs. Pants, Mr. Burke, Mr. Seneth, Mrs. Giannis, Mrs. Blankenship, and Dr. Ribner. Our choice department, Mrs. Betty Sims and Mr. Coleman. In the varying exceptionalities area, Ms. Morell. Ms. Grandison, Ms. Dakota, Ms. Everett, Ms. DeSanti, Mr. Jackson, Ms. Cruz, Mrs. Anderson, Dr. Mendez, and Mr. McIntyre. Our seminal support, we have Ms. Moore, Mrs. Fettergreen, Mrs. River De Nera, and Mr. Wright. Thank you all for your time, and we look forward to seeing you on the 31st.